thank you for tuning in with the real mina millions this is the real with mina and we are back today y'all we back and we back with a story time so i'm gonna give y'all a story time about befriending a psychopath and this is day two of vlogtober this is currently right now me like right now i'm getting ready to go to work so i want to jump on here and give y'all a story time before i leave home and i will edit this and get this up before the end of the day um i was trying to stay ahead and trying to make sure like i you know stay ahead for vlogtober but it ain't working out for me just yet but it, it's, it's gonna come together so in the meantime in between time we're gonna jump on here and we're gonna talk about the psychopath since we in october i'm trying to think of stories to tell y'all like with some craziness in it so y'all could be you know it's a little awesome little spooky woo, or whatever <laughs> so we're gonna call this girl juicy we're gonna call her juicy i don't have a reason it's just something that popped on the top of my head um because i just bought some juicy fruit gum out the store so yeah um we're gonna call her juicy so i met I, i'm not i'm not gonna say how i met juicy yet I'm jumping ahead. So let me tell y'all, I was on social media and I was on Facebook and people would send me a free request and I would just accept people. I'm not gonna lie. Like I was one of those people that would just accept you, accept you, whatever. So I just was accepting people. And I guess I got a free request from like a couple of guys or whatever. And I just accepted their free request. So like, I noticed like after this one guy sent me a free request, next thing you know, it was like a girl started like liking my stuff. And then she sent me a friend request on Facebook and then she added me on Snapchat and it was just like, okay, you know, whatever. So I did that. Um, I accepted her. I, you know, I don't have, you know, at the time I was coping with being a single mom and having a baby and all this other stuff like that. So I didn't really, it didn't register to me. So just remember that. So, I noticed, like, the girl liking my stuff. So, I look at her page and I just noticed, like, oh, okay, she's a pretty girl, da, 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 So, then on Snapchat, she would post stuff and then she was posting little things and I would tell her, like, um, you know, oh, that looks good. You know, you did a good job. Like, she was, like, painting or had paintings or something or whatever. And I would tell her, like, oh, that looks good. I look a real, like, you did a real good job on that. Like, I was so by that if I, you know, whatever, because I'm into painting and she was like, oh, thank you, boo, da 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 So we would, like, I would post stuff, and she would, like, send something to me. And we'll just, you know, have a little one-two, one-two, back and forth. So I didn't really, you know, think nothing about, oh, she's a cool girl. Still didn't connect. I still didn't connect the dots as to, the, you know, that she, um, that this guy was somebody that she knew. So... When me and her, we was talking, and next thing you know, we started, like, talking about her paintings, and she was asking me, like, what kind of work I do, and I was telling her, like, oh, I'm in healthcare, I do this, I do that, blase, 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 whatever, and she just was basically like, okay, um, you know, that's cool, like, I want to get into healthcare, I really enjoy, like, you know, doing that type of stuff, whatever, whatever, so she had a job. Uh, she was working somewhere. I can't really remember. I don't want to lie. She was working somewhere. Let's just say Taco Bell. And she was just like, yeah, I work at Taco Bell. And, you know, it's okay. But it's just they always mixing up my hours. They da 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 So I'm starting to feel sorry for her. So I'm like, okay, well, I can help you. I can get you into home health. It's simple. You don't need any certifications or anything. But it'll open doors for you. I was like... When you don't have certifications here in South Carolina, the pay is different than someone who is, but it is a step in the right direction to get your feet wet, see if you like it, and then you can go on to school. Like, it's resources and people to help you and all those different things. So she was like, okay. So then we decided to, like, um, get each other numbers and stuff like that. So I was telling her, like, I would really like to buy one of the paintings that she does. And she's like, oh, for real? So I was like, yeah. So, because she was posting, like, sorry, guys, somebody was calling me. So, um, in the meantime, between time, sorry if the camera changed. Like, my stuff started falling and all that. Like, yeah, so, um, I was talking to her about one of her paintings. And I was just like, you know, 
the painting looked good. I want to buy it. And she was like, for real? I was like, yeah. Look, like, you posted it for sale. Like, what's the price? Or whatever, whatever. So she gave me a price and she was like, well, I work. Um, I'll be to work at so-and-so time. And I was like, well, that's perfect because I'll be leaving work at that time. So I could just pull up and wait and then get it. And she was like, okay, I'll have it with me. So I went there and I got to her job. I got the Taco Bell and she brought the painting to me. So I was like, okay, um, this is nice. Like, thank you, all of this stuff. So I'm like showing it off to everybody. Like, look, look, I bought this from her. Like, she, she's so good. Like, y'all should support her, da, 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 da. So after that, like, we just started talking more and we realized that like, we had similar stories. Like, we had a lot in common, like literally from our baby daddies to our situation while we was pregnant all of that stuff just kind of aligned together so i was like you know this really like could be my person like this could be my friend like i really feel for her like i feel like everything that i've been through she's been through like this is my friend like for real so we were talking and next thing you know um i got her working on a job with me we started working together and stuff and she literally got mad with the lady because the lady wanted her to do something that she didn't want to do so she literally like fought this lady like the manager over the place and she like she was fighting this lady and i just felt so bad because i'm like damn like i brought this girl here um and now she's fighting this lady and i just feel terrible so it, it just was like a not a good situation and it gave me a feeling like oh like this is scary like no way so, I just literally felt like, damn, like, ooh, I'm probably going to lose my job at this point because I brought this girl here. Da, da, da. So, she didn't care. She was like, she didn't give up. Like, she don't care. She don't care about no job. Da, 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 da. So, at that point, I'm mean, like, this bitch is crazy. Like, I thought I was crazy, but this is crazy. Like, I do have some sort of care. Like, I care about my livelihood, me losing everything, my child, me going to jail. I care about all of that. So I'm not trying to have none of that. I'm not trying to deal with none of that, none of that at all. So the girl was just like, um, yeah, she shouldn't have played with me. She shouldn't have tried to tell me what to do. Ain't nobody going to tell me what to do. Da, 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 da. So I'm just telling her like, yeah, I understand. I'm like, but I wouldn't have let her get the best of me like that. Like she wouldn't have get no leverage up on me and make me feel no type of way about nothing. Like she, yeah, she would have had the da, 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 da. And I'm just talking to her or whatever. So after I talked to her about what was going on and all this stuff, she was just like, um, she was just like, yeah. And then the whole time, like, she didn't even tell me, like, she had other people outside waiting to beat this lady up. And I felt so bad. Like, y'all, I felt bad. I felt horrible. So me and, like, one of the other ladies talking about it. And the lady told me, she was like, yeah, I saw one of her peoples at the store. And they told me, they were like, y'all don't know her and she's crazy and she's this and she's that and i'm like for real so like i'm starting to see little red flags but i'm like you know maybe she's just an angry person like some people just be angry and it be something deeper in the surface of why they're angry and we don't understand it so y'all literally like i'm sitting there still being her friend still trying to get to know her all of this stuff so as me and this girl talking like situations will happen and it was one situation where her baby daddy like I guess was talking to a girl or something like that this girl literally literally we're in the car together so we're in the car together and we like going somewhere um i can't remember where we was going but the boy was not answering the phone and she was like i know he with that bitch i know you with that bitch da, 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 da. and i was just like oh this girl said like hit a hole in the middle of traffic could have kill us y'all and speeds back to this man house so I'm like, huh? Like, where, where are you going? Like, what's up? Like, what's... No, he with that bitch. I'm about to pull up there. So I'm like, Lord, I cannot go to jail. <laughs> I said, Lord, I can't go to jail. I cannot fool up with this girl. Like, and I had to tell her, I said, listen, I'm not scared of fighting. I'm not scared of none of that. Like, I'm going to have your back. Like, you my friend. I got your back. But right is right and wrong is wrong. So I was kind of like big sister in her. Because I felt like in that at that time in her life, she didn't have anybody to like big sister her or big mama her like see my mama gonna let you know like you full of you da, 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 all of that me i'm the type of person that i'ma just be like yeah i i yeah, i ain't going you know what i'm saying i'ma let you know too so i was like let me go ahead and big big mama big sister her right now and just all of that so 
I'm talking to her and I'm like, this, you know, you don't need to be doing that. You know, this is crazy. Da 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 da. This girl pulls up to that people house. She gets to the people house. She starts banging on the door. Boom, 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 boom. Open the door. I'm like, this his place by itself? No. His people live here. I was like, oh, okay. So she beating on the door. Boom, 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 boom. I'm like, really like appalled so i'm just standing there like this and mind you i got my i got my blicky yeah wounds and sticks Jeez, i got a drum he got the wounds and stick we'll set it off in this bitch thinking it's sweet smack his out with this blick change his attitude quick the, the, whatever they be saying i got that on me because i ain't got time for this i don't know these folks i ain't gotta yeah all of that so so the girl was just um so she sort of the, the, the boy people Y'all getting this talk. See how I get all excited talking about this? The boy people came to the door and they're like, oh, he not here. He at work. Like, uh, what's going on? Da, da, da. So she's like, oh, oh, because he ain't answering the phone. So the the boy daddy was like, yeah, he at work, you know? So she said, okay. So we get we go to leave. I don't know if they had called him and alert him or whatever, let him know what was going on. So when we get in the car... I see she goes a different direction. I'm like, where you going? We ain't going to the... That said we was going to the mall. We ain't going to the mall. No, I'm about to go pull up on him real quick. So I'm just like, okay, yeah, at this point, I need to get back to my car so I can get in my car and go the fuck home. Because this bitch is crazy. So, like, her face, she had just had this look in her face that was like... She was zoned out. Like, she was just so focused on that. And literally, so we... Y'all, we driving. We doing all that. We get ready to skirt skirt go go to wherever he at so we get to the job let's say he work at a plant so we get to the plant and she goes there like she just gets out the car I ain't even say nothing to me she just gets out the car and starts bombarding into the people place she's in these people establishment oh so where your bitch at where your bitch at where your bitch at where your bitch at he was like what the are you talking about bro like why you be doing this you embarrassing you just be doing too much like that's why i'm not even want to be with you like look at all this dumb shit oh and he said don't want to be with you baby i think the demon himself jumped into this girl you don't want to be with me but you always on my line you always on my line talking about you want to do it and you want your family back and you da 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 so he was like man bro go on so it was a girl. She was like, yeah, because your little bitch over there, your little bitch over there. So he was like, man, bro, go. He was like, man, do I be you? Do I be messing with you? Like, do we be da da da? So she's standing there like, it's like, she just got this demon look. She waiting for the girl to say yes so she can do something. So she like mushing him and all that. So the people like, hey, hey, we're going to have to call the police if you don't da da da. So he like starts snatching her. He was like, man, bro, come on outside. You coming with this stupid ass shit? You trying to show up in front of your motherfucking friend? I was like, hey, don't put me in that. Don't put me up in that because I don't have the time. I I don't have it to do. So, um, he got to the point where he was, you know, he didn't come outside. So the girl must be had follow outside too, cause she was like, "Well, I'm not messing with him, and I don't know what you're talking about, and you just doing the most, and you need to calm down. And if this your nigga, you wouldn't have to worry about your nigga messing with nobody else." And the girl, and I'm like, "Hey, you just." Because me knowing right now how this girl feeling, you about to end up. So, I'm just, you know, chilling. I'm really just there. Like, I'm really just like a fly on the wall. I'm really just in a space of like, yeah, I, I don't even want to um, do all of this. Like, I just don't have it to do. So, the lady said, um, she was just basically like, okay, I understand you know, it is what it is. Uh, I'm not even worried. I'm just trying to let her know, like, she coming up here doing all of that, and it's not even worth it. And I'm like, oh, okay. So, me, at this point, like, they steady. Them two, the baby mom, baby daddy, Juicy, and her baby daddy, stay going back and forth, back and forth. So, I'm just sitting there, and I'm like, yeah, da 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 I don't really got to do. So, I get in the car. Like, at that point, I get in the car. The girl kind of like walking away. So he like telling her like, you need to go. Da, 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 da. So he was like, you know what, bro? I'm going to just let them call the police on you. And he's starting to walk back to the store or whatever. And the lady basically is like telling him like, yeah, that's crazy. Like, I understand what you're saying. So the girl gets in the car. She was like, bitch, what? Bitch, what you say? What you say? And he, she was like, like I said, 
I understand why he don't want to be with you. You're too extra. You do too much. You're fucking crazy. The girl put her foot on the gas and vroom, and hit this damn girl. And when I tell you, like, the girl, good thing the girl moved and it caught her leg. I was like, bro, like, I, that's when I realized. I was like, I befriended a fucking psychopath. Like, this bitch is psycho. Like, this bitch don't have the sense God gave her. Like, this is truly insane. I was like, yeah, I ain't got it to do. I, I, I don't got it to do. And I'm literally sitting there in shock. And then she drives off. So, next thing you know, I'm scared because now we in traffic and I hear police sirens and all kind of shit. I'm just like, oh, I'm about to go to jail. I'm about to be an accomplice. They about to see me on the camera. They about to say, oh, we're looking for these two people. Like, y'all, I was so scared. I really thought I was going to be on national television as wanted because I'm with a fucking psychopath and this bitch is nuts and she is crazy. And I just don't have it to do. Like, literally after that, I, that day, I didn't even say nothing to her because I felt like, if I say anything, the bitch might try to kill me in this car right now. And I just kept my gun on my lap, the whole, my blicky on my lap the whole time. And I was like, let me just, yeah, because I ain't got it to do. You crazy. You, you is crazy. So she was just like, um, she was just like, yeah, I don't play that shit with that nigga. That nigga, no, not can play with me like that, bitch. I don't play that shit. That bitch got me fucked up. da, 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 da. And I was like, you got to really detach yourself from this man. Like, that's all I said. I was like, you really got to detach yourself from this man. I was like, I remember being this angry. And I remember going through these same exact emotions and doing dumb shit like this. Never hit nobody but, but him. You know what I'm saying? Because a female ain't did nothing to me. And that's one thing I hate that women do. The woman ain't did nothing to you. Stop going after women. It's your nigga. Now, when they get disrespectful or they say something about your kids or something like that or something, you know, that's just off the wall crazy, I understand. But honestly, it's still going to take a lot for me to put my hands on because most of the time they're going to call the police and they're going to press charges on you and you're going to go to jail and you're going to be going through court shit. And before I let a bitch take my money out of my pocket or take away from my kid, I'm going to fuck the nigga up first. So I'm literally like talking to her and telling her this stuff. And she's like, yeah, you right. You right. Like she turned into a whole different person. You right. I got to let that go. I got to be done with him. I, I just can't keep doing this with him. I was like, girl, and you better make sure you let these people know. I did not know you was about to hit that lady because I did not come here expecting you. I didn't get in the car with you expecting you to do nothing that you were going to do. And I'm not an accomplice to anything. But good thing, I, nothing came about it because the guy really, I guess he talked to the girl. She wasn't hurt or nothing like that. So she, you know, didn't call the police or nothing. But y'all, when I tell you scared and all this stuff like that, and then literally like, it's just a roller coaster with her. Y'all gonna be like, damn, like that is just nuts. Like, so that is my introduction to y'all to me befriending a psychopath and her taking me on a hit and run free, allegedly. And her just doing the most and i'm gonna tell y'all like this all y'all youngins out there be careful befriending people because you never know who you're dealing with or who you're getting involved with people nuts people are people crazy they more than nuts they're crazy so be mindful and just yeah so yeah all of that um yeah so Y'all, that's my story time for the day. Happy Vlogtober. We in Vlogtober day two. I know this one wasn't a boom, boom, bam. It is a crazy one. It's a quick story time. But I hope that you guys enjoy it. And y'all stick with me through the rest of Vlogtober. I'm going to come tomorrow with something a little different. And I'm going to try to be throwing a story time in every other day. Don't hold me to it. it it'll be something. I'm just trying to give y'all some content and give y'all something different to look at and see my face. So, Yes, thank y'all. Hopefully the next time y'all see me, I can have on like some spooky pajamas or something. Something for October. And um, I don't know. I'm thinking about doing a movie review of like a childhood movie. Um, I'm not going to say which one, but I'm thinking about doing it. And just, or either doing like a little watch party or something. I don't know. I got to look and see. 
I got to think about it. See what I want to do. Because my daughter don't be wanting to watch nothing with me. So, anyways, guys, thank you for tuning in with The Real Me a Millions. Don't forget to hit the like button, share, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you see your people over here. And, y'all, welcome to Juicy, the psychopath. Yeah. So, I'm trying to think of some stories to give y'all something that be like, ooh, child. Yeah. That's a good story for October. Anyways, thank you. And I hope that you guys enjoy.